All right, guys, we made it through the work day. So now we're gonna load up in the truck. We're here in Chattanooga. We're gonna go 75 south towards, uh, we're gonna get off at the Tunnel Hill exit. That'll put us fairly close to the uh, Cahutta Big Frog Wilderness Loop. And uh, I think that's what we're gonna try to tackle this weekend. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll get on the road here in a minute. Well, we didn't make it very far. Thirsty. All right, everybody, this is Joel. Say hi, Joel. What's up? Tell us a little bit about your it's truck. It's a 07 Tacoma. Nothing special. Got the old three inch lip, the old cheap one. Got the nice fancy CVT tent on the homemade rack. And uh, we've got a light bar in the front. That's about it. All right, guys, I got some good news. We made it and we did not blow up. Uh, we didn't get any flat tires. We didn't run out of gas. So here is the first section of unpaved road on this trip. Here's where the asphalt ends, boys. Uh, we're gonna cruise for a little while, and we'll uh, we'll see if we come up to any cool, uh, like hard to get over stuff, and we'll be sure to video that. And uh, stay tuned because we'll be setting up camp tonight. Here's the first uh, possible campsite, 630F. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and let Joel lead from here on out. Uh, apparently up here not too far is a, an off-road section, so we'll, uh, we'll pick up the video from there. I guess we're not going off-roading here. It uh, looks like a big culvert has washed out up here and uh, they got it taped off, so on we go. All right, so we gotta figure out where we're gonna go here. All this is Mill Creek. And we'll just roll up through here and just stay on it for a while. So since we haven't been able to find any places to go off road yet, we found another campsite. And there looks like to be a little hill climb. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over this just to have some fun. Time Johnny thinks that he can flex this log, he's trying to show off a little bit here. Guys, we're now at the uh, Mill Creek Road Overlook. I'm going to go ahead and run down here. There's a little uh, platform and we can take a look. There we go. They got this nice little uh, platform here so we can look at this. Really pretty landscape up here. We finally found a nice little uh, off-road loop. Here's Joel's truck. We've now come to a fork in the road that was not on our uh, original plans. And uh, one way, which we think is the way that continues the, uh, the Big Frog Wilderness Loop, is it says the road's closed in four miles up the way. So we're gonna go down to the right, which we think that there's a waterfall down there. So we'll cruise down there and see if we can catch a waterfall. If not, I'm sorry for mentioning it, but we'll see what we can find.
rides like a Cadillac. Here we are on a trail that supposedly goes to a waterfall. I can hear it. So let's see if we can find it. The smallest waterfall in the world. Still pretty up here though. They built this cool little pier. Well, back to the trucks and on the road. We just got to this nice overlook. Um, I'm standing on a sketchy dead tree to get a good view. But this is it's really nice. Joel's truck looking good. My truck looking big, but just a little bit more of this landscape. I think uh, that we're going to be going back to the main highway here soon, and then we're going to try and see if we can get some more trails off of this map we were running off of. Uh, if you guys are still tuned in, I appreciate you guys staying. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, and uh, don't forget camping coming up soon. So. Uh, Yep, stay tuned. Well, after driving for uh, quite a ways on some interstate and uh, some poor dirt trails, we went over a bridge that was rated at seven times, which my truck is really close to. Uh, but we made it over, didn't fall. Now we're parallel to this beautiful river. And uh, we're gonna keep going down this dirt trail and uh, this gravel road. And hopefully we'll come up on some trails here real soon. All right, guys, well, we weren't able to find anything crazy yet, uh, but there's always tomorrow. And what we have done is we found this nice little campsite uh, off of a forest road, and we're gonna set up camp for the night and then get back at it in the morning. Good morning, guys, here's our campsite. Joel's got his CVT tent set up, and we got a nice little uh, stream running over here that unfortunately, kind of woke me up several times last night thinking that maybe it was some sketchy person walking around there's Joel cooking there's my little tent just set up on the bed of the truck it worked all right uh the only issue I had at this being the first trip is I definitely need to get a bigger uh pad I just have this little egg foam pad and it uh not quite enough on this hard deck boards so Joel what do you got cooking we're fixing up some eggs here oh, I got some scrambled eggs on the little Coleman well guys we'll be uh packing up here and then headed back on the trails not too long on the road again bow, 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 bow. so I think I finally come to the realization that uh this trip is or we're not really gonna find any uh technical trail riding. It's uh, going to be mainly service roads, uh, which are still fun and you get beautiful scenery, but I was hoping for something uh, a little bit more technical, uh, maybe on the next trip, but we'll definitely keep going here and uh, if we come up on anything interesting, I'll be sure to film it. We found a uh, super stinky bundle. Well guys, we have a bit of adventure. We were cruising down the trail and we saw a Land Rover Discovery 2. Got a flat tire. So he didn't have the tools he needed, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, 
use some of our tools and help him get his tire fixed. So here we are coming up on the Land Rover. We found the hole. There's a, a rock up there where my truck's parked and it just caught the sidewall and put a hole right in it. We're gonna get it jacked up, change this tire out. Well, we've had all the lug nuts off and this wheel will not come off. So now we've got a, a new idea to put a bottle jack against the trailing arm, press against the inside of the wheel to press it off the hub and hopefully that'll work. Well, the bottle, the bottle jack trick worked. We got it off. All right, guys, we're gonna to we're gonna head through. back down the trail. We got the uh, got the tire change. We'll see you guys on down the road. Well, how about that Land Rover recovery? I thought that was pretty funny. We just uh, were cruising down the trail and we saw them. Uh, we've now found this like little side trail. I don't think that I could quite fit on there, but we had Joel go up and scout to see if there was uh, anything worthwhile up there. Uh, he should be coming back down soon. I'll get a little video of him going over this uh, or underneath this fallen tree and uh, through a little ditch. All right, everybody. Well, I think that's going to be the end of our trip this time. Uh, sorry, I promised you guys a little bit more technical trails, but hey, there's always next time. Say hi, Joel. What's up? <laughs> so here's the trucks. We made it out successful. The only carnage I have. Look at that. Broke my tail light. <laughs> so we're going to eat here at the, uh, what's this called? Morganton Grill. We're going to... Uh mingle with the locals we're gonna mingle with the locals here at the morganton grill uh we're about an hour and a half from the house so hopefully that'll put us back around three um hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget subscribe like and stay tuned for future adventures thanks guys well we thought that was the end of the video flat tire so we go we got the spare tire uh pulled out here torque multiplier set from the other video the issue we're having is the throw on my jack is not high enough to get this thing off the ground. So we're going to try and cobble some stuff together with Joel's factory jack to use it as a jack stand to hold it up high enough where we can stack wood under my jack and get it high enough to put the spare on. All right, we got the new tire on there. It was just like the, the video that I had of the torque multiplier when I, when I changed the back tire. Um, this is the cobbled together mess we had to make to, uh, this is 
Joel's factory jack. Uh, we used it as a jack stand. Rated at 3,000 pounds. We, we probably pushed the limit of that. It's my little bottle jack. It did okay. It was just hard to press. Uh, used the trusty torque multiplier. Made quick work of the lug nuts. Got it on there. We're going to go ahead and use the torque multiplier to tighten those back up and get back on the road. Guys, I made it home. Not only did we get that front tire changed, uh, once I got it on there, I remembered that one of the tires I had mounted previously, I put the tube in there backwards. So the valve stem was facing towards the back of the wheel. Okay, not that big of a problem. You put it on there, rotate the wheel, the valve stem's gonna hit the uh, steering knuckle. So, had to take that tire back off the front, take one of the rears off, move it to the front, and put that new spare on the rear where it doesn't have a steering knuckle and you won't have any clearance issues. So, after that huge debacle, in about uh, an hour, I, I made it home. So, good successful weekend. Again, just to recap, the, uh, the trails and stuff we hit this weekend are strictly, uh, like, more just, just overlanding uh, trails. Nothing too technical. A lot of good forest service roads and uh, state park roads. Beautiful overlooks and some nice camping spots. So if you're looking for something a little bit more extreme, this trip's maybe not for you. But thank you guys for uh, following along with the whole trip. And stay tuned for more, like always. Subscribe, comment, share, uh, so then I can help buy some new wheels because these tubes are garbage. Thanks, guys. See ya.